Favorite TV, Advancing Kingdom Lifestyle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's edition of Friday Morning Digest. Uh, we continue our discussion about 2022, just looking at the season, understanding, and trying to uh, decipher, if I may use that word, God's heart and mind. What is God's intention for this year? What is on God's heart for this year? And how do you and I engage uh, so that whatever God has spoken about this year uh, may not just remain as a theory, but may be practicalized, may be actualized, uh, may be manifested. Uh, today I have uh, with me Apostle Shadrach Machimchim. Yes, um, thank you is, so much. Yes, welcome. Yes, yes, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm Kosgei Machichim. Yes. Uh, from Wasangishu County, uh, a minister of the gospel, serving with the Global and Victory Churches, and also being a director with the Global Outreach of Missions. And I'm so grateful uh, to be part and parcel of what you are doing, especially in this great show of Digest this morning. And uh, I know uh, God is going to bless us because we are here. Uh, for the sake of our nation, mm. we are here, uh, you know, to for the body of Christ actually, and also to to pray and ask God uh, to intervene in each and every situation that comes in. Yes, excellent. Yes. So just to get us us going, um, yes. How does the political climate look? I know you're from Wasingishu, and Wasingishu, I know, is another yes. hotbed for yes. politics. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so how, how yeah, are you sure. looking? Yeah. Yes, uh, man of God, I come from. Uh, was an issue or basically not rift. Uh, when you talk about not rift, um, it's you know, these are counties uh, from the northern side of Rift Valley. We have Nandi, we have Wasangishu, we have Elegio Maraquet, we have um, Baringo, West Pokot, Turkana, and uh, as we are talking now, especially the political climate um, in our region. Um, I can I can say, man of God, the bed right now is uh, it's hot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Because uh, we have um, uh, we have uh, many people right now. They are aspiring for different seats. Then also we have one of the key leaders in this country, uh, with the deputy president, you know, eyeing for presidency. Uh, apart of him being, uh, you know, a leader, you know, in this country, you know, he comes from a single issue. Okay. So you can just imagine how the bed is. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, yes. So, uh, but basically, uh, as we are talking now, uh, most leaders right now, they are down there in Machinani, okay. trying to to persuade, you know, the, the you know the voters, the people, reaching out and uh, you know campaigning. But uh, we as a church there, we have been trying to <coughs> uh, to position ourselves also to make sure that uh, our leaders may not go overboard. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So, so what is the church doing? I, I like, I like, I like yes, that. Yes. Well, how is the church engaging? What, what are the church okay, doing? Okay. Now, now the engagements that we have, mm -hmm. you know, as a church, one is about uh, having that personal outreach to okay. these leaders. Uh, I, I remember um, just a few days in, 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 uh, in, uh, in our church, we had convened a meeting of most aspirants, and uh, uh, it was it was a prayer day that we were praying for them, you know, uh, encouraging them, you know, giving them, you know, our views as a church, and also also for them to know and to understand that uh, the church is live, okay. the church is watching. Mm. Uh, because, you know, these people, most of them, they might be tempted to do things which are not uh, godly. That's true. And remember, um, especially my region, it has been a hotbed politically. So as a church, we are so alert. We are praying and engaging with different leaders uh, to make sure that, um, uh, you know, uh, they do, you know, you know, you know, they preach, you know, they are... Um, you know their manifestos or their agendas you know reaching out to people peacefully because what we need is actually peace okay yes how do you you know i think this is a very interesting in a very interesting 
uh, space because yes. um, the church is supposedly neutral. Yes. And yet, where you are, one of the, you know, they say it's a two horses. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes. One of the leading horses comes yes. from that area. So, yes. how do you maintain neutrality yes. in the middle of, in, of that kind of environment? Yes. That's very important, man of God, because um, the church is neutral, uh, but uh, our secret is unity. Okay. If we are able to unite, mm. if we are able to, to unite and, you know, work in solidarity, even though there are two or three horses, mm. you know, eyeing the seat of this country. Uh, and remember this, a church is a cosmopolitan institution. And if we are one, even these people, uh, they are going to buy you know our concept you know our idea because they will say hey the church is one yeah you know like, like not in my church you know you know let me just give an example of, of my church we have we have we have different people from different communities and i as a pastor uh, you know you know i can't i can't afford to be in a position whereby i show some business you know i yes, support yeah. so, so and so yeah you see but there's that position and uh, the position that God has given us as a church is a position of prayer, watching, and giving guidance wow. to all our leaders. Yes. Excellent. Yes. This week, there was this, this um, the, the president said it's time for politics. Yes. You know, he said it was before he was yes. yes. but yes. now he's changed direction to <laughs> our politics. Yes. And uh, I think the following day, the deputy president responded. Yes. What, what, what are your thoughts on, on that? Okay, now... Um, Okay, we, 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 we thank God for our leaders, we thank God for the president, Yes. we thank God for our deputy president, and we know the season that we are in yes. is a season of uh, politics. People now, are, they're out there, you know, are trying to reach out to people. Uh, you know, leaders mm. reaching out, you know, the, the, you know people in the, you know, in the communities. And um, what happened the other day, you, 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 you know, there was, there was a clash in between the the president and the deputy president and um okay uh to to you know to us as a church it was not a good picture for our leaders okay because this is a country that is not of today mm. this is a country of many many generations to come we have young people uh the two leaders they are our role model we follow them mm. so I, I believe uh the clash that we saw you know the other day and uh one thing that i like also about um our leaders yes you know maybe after clashing or you know you know doing abcd uh at long run at the end of the day you know, you will hear them saying, I, I, I have nothing personal yes, against, against, you know, against you, yes, yes, you know, yeah. you, you know, so, 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 but it's not good. Those mm. sentiments were not good. It was not healthy for our country, for our nation, for our children. And uh, I wish, uh, you know, as a, as, a, as a minister of the gospel, I wish the church, you know, could uh, come up immediately and say, hey, mm. our leaders, this is not the right direction. And bodily, I want to say mm. that um, such sentiments are not good. And um, yes, this is an electioneering period, yeah. you know, they are looking for votes. But um, it's good to mm. do politics in a mature way. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. So, um, you know, I think uh, right now it is it is sort of like a free for all. Yeah, it's, you know, it's free. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, um, everybody each, yes. side, each side has been lamenting, yeah, exactly. saying that true. the other side has taken advantage of yes, them. Yes, yes, uh, yes, yes. So how how would you have wanted? Maybe how would you how should uh, either the president or the deputy president have gone about that yes. that whole scenario? What yes. would they, what would you if you were in their position? Yes. What would you have done different? Okay, now uh, for them, like now uh, the president. Mm. You know, is is is, is, is a father. Okay. And being a father, if you're a father of many children, you can't say you know uh, who you know who you or mm. You will try to bring everybody. all everybody on board. Mm. You will try to bring all your children together. Mm. So uh, our president, being our father, 
is actually is the one actually uh, responsible, you know, to make sure that even though uh, yes, I, I I know our deputy president, mm. he has his own ambitions, mm. you see, mm. and many other you know you know you know you know key leaders, mm. and also um, they have been working together, you know, working together as brothers, not only just as leaders, as friends and you know as brothers. So I I believe. Um, uh, the work that they have done, you know, for this country, Kenya, for sure, um, it's it's an excellent job. Mm. Because if you go to many many places, you can't compare our country, Nazili Miyaka Zingine. Okay. And we do commend them for the good work that they have done. But uh, we are praying that um, the devil may not take the advantage. Okay. Kupitia those projects and everything on the fanya, you know, you know, now, now, now to bring divi division mm. because we need our president, you know, come and kuenda nyumbani vizuri, and vizuri kuna amani, and also raising, you know, bring all leaders together. And I really thank God because of him because there's a mind of uniting all Kenyans. Yeah. Uh, but uh, if I was on his shoe, I can say that um, that uh, you know uh, I will prepare a platform for all the leaders. Okay. Quite a word and mm. listen now. This case to my it is not about me. Okay. It is not about you. It is not about so and so. Ilikoni kazi ya kila moja. And now we have to to preach our gospel of you know ya 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 siasa vizuri mm. without um without uh, you know uh showing that so and so exactly it's true having a, a, a good platform okay of leadership that's a very interesting question yes you know a very interesting uh, dilemma yes you know I'm, I'm sure even in your place as a leader yes um sometimes you have people under you i know you have a number of churches under you oh yes and yes, yes, you, yes. You, there are some pastors who yes. who you are Aligned to, if I'm yes, using that exactly word. But true. there are some other pastors who they are like the black sheep in the family. Yes, yes, I, I understand. yes, yes, yes. So, <laughs> how, how do you deal with that? How do yes. you bring them all together? And yet, in your heart, you yes. feel like this one. Yes. Uh, you know? yes. So, how, how do you, how do you, how do you deal with that? Yes. Yeah, as a leader now, yes. now look at your yeah, position. Exactly yes, exactly true. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. You know, leadership hmm. is about overseeing. You oversee everything you know uh yes you you know this one is not for me this one is not on my line and uh maybe with ideologies or whatever it's like um how many can you moja but um as a leader uh leadership is about you, you you know the mountains of leadership the challenges in leadership is actually those are the points of uh, th those are the points of excellence if you manage as a leader mm. to you know you, you you know to uh to you know to align even those you are seeing can I come they are your opposers yeah. you know they are opposing you it's like i'm when the pamoja uh, one you are showing leadership okay and one thing servant of god and um uh, you know, like right now in my ministry, uh, I have one of the pastors who is, uh, you know, is vying for an MC. Okay. You know, he's a pastor in theater that was, you know, we were trying to talk to him now mm. that, you know, uh, you're, you're vying for an MC. Mm. And now, you, you know, you're a church. Because I remember this man, uh, there's, um, there's a coalition. Okay. And uh, um, by Ali, Ali, Ali by the idea. Yeah. And you know it you know it was it was like you know there was a challenge you know with mm. the church. Mm. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. So we went there to intervene. Mm. You know, we called this man of God, hey mm. now mm. what you're doing, mm. I think you should do A, B, C, D. But okay. he said, you know, as uh, you know, apostle, you know, uh mm. and heavy. Mm. So but 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 finally mm. We were able to call, to you know to convince him, and uh, I really thank God because of him because mm. he was able to finally he was mm. able to agree with us, mm. and um, 
we are seeing now the restoration of the church. Okay. And uh, I, I, I think as a leader, uh, we must be open and, uh, you know, we must all be open and do engagement. We engage our leaders, we engage our people. Even though, you know, this one, you know, they come on my foot and imagine how to shikamani. Yes. We must, we must, we must, we must try to okay. reach out okay. and engage these people. And finally, you know, you know, you know, leadership comes from God. Yes. Now, come on, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, Yes. <laughs> All right. I like, I like what you've said, that even yes. if you don't uh, agree, yes. I think the leader, yes. the responsibility of exactly. the leader is to reach out. Yes. You know, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about leadership, I'm thinking about fatherhood, being yes. a father in a home. Exactly. You know, there'll always be that child who yes. uh, is always the, the naughtiest child. Yes, exactly. There's always the child true. getting into trouble. Yes, There's yes, always yes. the child who... But yet, you yes. must still reach out to him, exactly, and you true. must still love him as yes, a father yes, loves, yes, loves that yes, child. So yes, exactly, uh, that, that that is very good. Yes, there's, there's this uh, this week there was this um, uh, flyer, is something going around on social media, yes. and talking about how a lot of our uh, the government leaders in the in the executive are retiring. Yes. You know, the CSs, yes. the CASs, and yes. they're retiring to g pursue jobs mm -hmm. in elective positions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, the, the person who said, I think it was a bit, uh, it was a bit skewed. But the yes. person who sent it was saying that if you already have a good job yes. in the government, yes. uh, you know, a good salary, uh, yes. you're driving a good car. Why would you leave a good job like yes. that? And now uh, go for uh, uh, probably <laughs> I buy go fifty fifty. You know, yes, you don't yes. know, you don't know whether you make exactly. it or you won't it's make true. it. You know. So yes. uh, w w what do you think is happening? Yes. Do you want to speak in? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Now, um, I think most of the leaders I was talking to one of um, one of the guys mm. in Eldoret. Mm. And actually, I was asking the same. Okay. And I asked him, you know, my brother, why are you leaving, you know, your best, your best, your, your best, you know, the best of everything? Mm. And he said, you know, uh, Pastor, uh, we are not here now with you. My eyes and my everything, it go beyond August 9th. And I asked him, what do you mean? Then he said, you know, mm. we are trying to position ourselves, you know, for the next government which is coming. Okay. This one is going home. Mm. And now maybe we have, yes, we have good houses. Yes. We have everything. But what about our future? And I ask him also, now, what about the future of your people back there? Because the same same people, maybe they need, you know, your services right now. And you are living in the offices, you know, you are leaving your office. Then they said to me, you know, pastor, you know, okay, I love my people. Yeah. And uh, I've been serving them for, 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 for 10 years or five years, but now, this is not the point, you know, you know, you know, to break away and prepare for the next government. Of which <laughs> you are saying, man of God, uh, <laughs> it is like Kupata uh, Potea. Yeah. You see. Mm. And uh, also one of the weakness, because, uh, you know, one of the weakness about also most of our leaders. Mm. It's like now this is the period now walipata kazi mm -hmm. wakabarikiwa mm -hmm. na wakenda wakiendanga mm -hmm. now wamejua sasa ushago or the machinani <laughs> people yeah. wound you wenye we, we, wenye kusema yeah. you see so as, as as we are talking now these people also they are trying to mend their you know you know their relationship okay. you know you know trying to bond with the people mm. and uh, okay it's good mm. you know we are not saying that it's bad mm. you know it's good and uh, if somebody has you know, a vision or an ambition for leadership, you know, with our constitution, our Kenyan constitution, you are free to do so. Yes. You are free to leave your office yeah. and also, you know, uh, have that aspiration, you know, for the next level of your leadership mm. or dimension. Mm. Yes. Okay. So many of them are really positioning themselves for the future. Actually, these people, it's about, you know, it's about future. It's about the future. Of which now... Yes. I can say also, uh, if Hawana Mungu Pia, yeah. that future <laughs> may not be there. <laughs> okay. Yes. 
I think it's interesting <coughs> because can the church learn from that? Do you think there's something there that the church, that you and I can learn from? Because, ah, definitely, man. Because coach. many of them, many of us, the, I mean, uh, the, uh, a season has come to an end. Yes, yes, but we're yes. still holding on holding. to a season. Yes, and exactly. we don't understand that the yes, season true. is changing and yes, we need true. to move to it's true. It's a true. new season. Yes, it's true. What do you think? Uh, actually, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a big lesson for us okay. as a church. Because um, as, as a key leader in the ministry, uh, you can't hold on that position on that um, you know leadership mm. you have to prepare because what our leaders are doing you know our css our name it what they're doing right now you know uh they're in preparation yes they're preparing mm. now a question comes into us mm. as a church mm. are we preparing are we raising sons and daughters yes. are we preparing you know you know um for the next season because uh, uh this is about seasons these people are then you know actually they're engaging mm. right now when you had the president mm. now in now actually what the president was saying now we are now uh you know um going to a different season so it's about seasons so as a church um, we should have that discernment. Okay. We should be discernful about God-given seasons, so that we may be able to prepare. Yes, you know, to prepare for um, you know, we, you know, we prepare for the for the upcoming leaders mm. and also for the success because mm. you know it's so sad, it's so painful. You know, umejenga uduma imekuwa vizuri. Then all of a sudden. Let's get on, but now things are not, you know, didn't work with the ministry. Yeah. Ilian the ABCD. Mm. Yeah. So it's about preparation, man of God. Excellent. It's good to prepare. Yes. Excellent. Does a new? Do you feel that a new political dispensation for the country? Because that's what we're preparing. Yeah, for. exactly. Whichever true. way we look at it, whether, yes. whether it's as in Mio, Kenya, okay, Kwanza, okay, Oka, okay, whatever yes, makes it through, yes, yes. it's a new political dispensation. Yes. Yes. Do you think it also means a new spiritual dispensation for yes, the nation? Yes. Yes. Actually, what is happening now yes. physically? It started, you know, somewhere. Okay. And it really started with the spiritual world. And this is an indication of a new spiritual, uh, uh, you know, dimension, you know, for the church and also for the country. Uh, because as you're talking, man of God, um, if you see the politics of now, Nita mm. Fauti, mm. You see now, um, most leaders, you know, they're embracing now, you know, uh, coming together. You, you know, you know, mm. you hear now, when you hear about Azimio, Azimio is not ODM alone. There are many parties. parties. That have come when together. you hear about, you know, uh, Kenya, Kenya Kwanzaa, Kenya, Kenya Kwanzaa mm. it's not UDA alone. Mm. There are many parties. parties. You go to Oka. one Kenya, Oka, mm. you know, not Waipa alone. Yes. There are many parties. parties yes. Now, um, this is <coughs> an indication of a, a new lease of life, you know, not only for the leadership of this country, okay. but also Katika mm. Ulimwengwa Rohoni, whereby as a church, we should be one. As a church, we should have you know, we should have one mindset. Even though we come from different visions, different uh, religious backgrounds, but this is the time, you know, to, to have that one focus for the sake of our country. Mm. And the reason why, this is a new spiritual, you know, dispensation. And this new spiritual dispensation, that's let now also a political Yes. dispensation yes. actually to me we are expecting a new breed of leadership okay you know and and and, and, and i know god is going to bless our country excellent yes uh, we're, we're, going to, we're going to get into that that whole aspect yes. of a new breed yes. but i like what you're saying very yes. interesting because yes. You know, many times we are thinking, like even maybe even from my position, that it it has been the the politicians that are running the show. 
but the way you're putting it is like yes. this started in the spirit first exactly it's true before it began to manifest in the it's natural true. yes so yes, when yes. we see it manifesting in the natural we should be very aware that maybe last one or two years god yes. has been shifting things yes, yes yes and what we are seeing now is a reflection yes of that yes what 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 do you, what 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 do you think changed when, yes. when you know what 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 do you feel changed when yes. when this began to happen yes yeah okay man of god one thing uh, mm. and also to our viewers yes uh we need to understand your um as you know after 207 mm. you know you know 207 was like a wake-up call yes for the church to pray and since then the church has been praying you know uh if if you go if, if you travel i've been go you know you know you know traveling across the country you go to turkana you go to nyanza you go to coast you go everywhere the church is praying and the only prayer that we are they're praying they are praying you know uh for our country and praying for our leaders so actually the change that we are experiencing it's a change of um it's a change that is coming through the prayer you know whereby now the church is praying and i want to tell you man of god what has brought everything in a balisha kilakito it's the prayer of the church thank you apostle yes we just need to take a small break oh, at that yes. point okay we'll be thank back you thank in a few you. minutes yes uh, ladies and gentlemen don't touch that dial the discussion is just heating up yes. about how the church has been engaging with the political sphere yes. and also about this season we yes. need to just continue to unpack this season and what this season has yes. in store for you and me so don't touch that dial we'll be back in a yes. few minutes yes thank you Sister Talk. Whatever works for you, do it. A sister is a gift to the heart, a friend to the spirit, a golden thread to the meaning of life. If the liberal position is there, right, left, center, I have decided. Yes. This is the route that I am going to take. On Sister Talk, it is your responsibility to control mm -hmm. your body. We engage on social issues, life challenges, economic empowerment an empowered woman is a beautiful woman we share various experiences through humor is the anniversary his or is it for both of you <laughs> godly and biblical values character is formed by the knowledge of knowing christ let's walk the dada journey together that mattering grace begins to flow in the church when the pastor's wife is given her place and is respected Sister Talk, Thursdays. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us on this discussion. We are talking about engaging the seasons yes. of God. Yes. And I have Apostle Machichim here yes. with me, just yes. helping us to unpack this discussion. Yes, yes, yes. Um, talk about the political side and how the political sphere and the things that we've been seeing in the political world yes. are really a reflection of what has been going on spiritually in yes. the nation. Yes. And, you know, sometimes we look at politics and we think that uh, politics is what is defining this country and defining this nation. Yes. Yes. But the politics is really a reflection of what has been happening yes. in the spiritual realm. Yes. And maybe the thing is that we've not been as sober or yes. at a lot about yes. what is happening. Yes. Just before the break, you're talking about how you've been traveling and uh, you, you, you're beginning to see a burden and the heart of God's exactly. people to it's pray true. for the yeah, nation. Yeah, yeah. Because that has been my concern. Yes, Whether yes, yes. You, you know, sometimes you, you can only see around yes, you. Yes, it's and true. when you see around you, you yes, know, yes. that maybe people are not praying the yes, way you desire. Yes, yes. You think, are we really engaging or praying for the nation? Yes, yes. What, what yeah, yeah, man yes. of God. Um, mm. uh, as you are talking now, mm. there are many prayer movements praying for the country. There are many prayer fellowships that are praying for the country. The other day, I was from Turkana, the southern part of Turkana, and it was so amazing. I found women, the Shanga women, mm. they are in the bush praying for our country. And when I saw the prayer, the people praying for Kenya. Mm. 
I came to realize the servant of God that for sure uh, the church is on the right position because the only way to secure this country, the only way to overcome you know, uh, the plans of the enemy against our country, it is through prayer. Okay. As we are talking right now, man of God, not only, you know, uh, it is not only we Kenyans praying. I think you have seen even um, different countries, mm. you know, uh, praying for our country. You see, uh, the other day, and I really want to thank God because of uh, the network of the church, in, you know, of the Church of Kenya, that uh, we have been able to network with other international ministries and churches, mm. you know, uh, engaging with them, you know, to pray for our country. So actually, the burden that God has given us, man of God, it is to pray for this nation, it is to pray for our leaders, and I want to say this, with the prayers that we are praying, no bloodshed. Mm. With the prayers that we are praying, you know, uh, stability will be there for us even beyond August 8th. Uh, you know, uh, the, the other day I was watching this man of God from, is it from, is it from Ghana? Yes. Duncan Williams. Duncan Williams. Yes. You know, pray for the country. And there's something he said that I want to thank God for my sons and daughters in Kenya. You know, and uh, I, I got a revelation that, oh, Kumbe Kuna Watu Pia Haba, that uh, they have given out a burden for our country to be prayed for. And that man of God prayed for the country and prayed for our leaders. Now, that is him. You can just imagine, uh, you, know, you, know, you, know that, you know, uh, that is him as a man of God yes. from Ghana. Yes. Ghana praying for, for okay. Kenya. What about other countries? Yes. What about other nations? So for sure, man of God, I can say, mm. we are on the right way. And the devil has no power. Mm. The devil has no place mm. to bring destruction in our country. For us, there in Rift Valley, was in Gishu County, <laughs> you know, Eldoret City. Mm. We are praying and praying and declaring that Eldoret, Tarbo, Ziwa, mm. you know, uh, Cheptiret, mm. the places which are known burnt forest as, as hotspots, we were praying the other day. We were going around our county and declaring that there will be no bloodshed and all communities in Wasinkishu they will be able to be to stay together born together live together and be brothers and sisters wow. yes man of wow. god that's beautiful yes that's, beautiful. that's lovely yes i know during our discussion especially about the coming elections yes one of the things you've kept emphasizing is um, a new crop of leaders yes beginning to find their way yes, into yes, the yes, political yes, space yes yes do you, do you want to talk a bit about that yes i want to talk a bit about it because um um this is a new dispensation this is a new season it is a new page for our country kenya and what God is doing right now is actually raising this country to another dimension. There are many prophets, there are many apostles, there are many messengers. They have come to our country and they have been prophesying that Kenya is a platform of revival. Kenya is a blessed nation. Kenya is a, you know, is, is, you know, is a father nation. Mm. It's a bread basket, you know, you know, for many nations. And the season that we are in, God is raising our country to be a platform of many nations by, you know, um, fulfilling every prophetic word. Ambayo imesemo juu ya taifa letu la Kenya. Now, and because because of um 
because of you know uh the new dispensation also god is raising the new breed of leadership and as i was sharing with you about um we are voting in now we are trusting god and praying for the fifth president uh you know you know of our country you know uh the bible talks about the first the second the third and the fourth generations mm -hmm. number five mm -hmm. Is, is a prophetic number of grace. Number two, it is like a new chapter. It is like a new beginning because when grace is there, it's about a new beginning. Mm. Because where grace is, there's a new dimension. And by grace now, God is raising the new breed of leadership. Now, uh, the season that we have been in since 1963 to date now god is saying oh you kenyans i'm raising you again to another new season to another new dimension and the purpose of god doing this it's for the sake of the church mm the church will be a voice we have been praying and trusting god and we have seen signs and wonders but i'm telling you man of god a season to to experience the supernatural the season to experience the power the glory in the house of the lord is now and god will be manifesting his hand of glory in this new season whereby uh, every word every prophetic word that was given there will be manifestation and i've seen this happening man of god yes. just the other day i was in turkana and what i saw god doing in turkana servant of god I realized that now this is a new season for the church because in that very community where I was doing ministry I saw over 10 you know uh, Muslim families Wakiokoka mm. receiving Christ mm. and when I saw them coming and the message that i got in my spirit is now this is the church this is now this is now the opportunity for the church to reach out but what god is doing right now god is repositioning the leadership of this country for the sake of the great commission that the lord has given us yes man of god I like the way you have anchored it to the church yes. again because yes. again sometimes you may think God is doing it for the prosperity of the nation, yes. God is doing it for the future of the nation, yes. but yes. really what God has in his heart and yes. his mind yes. is the yes. church. You, 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 you know through the church, mm. that's where God is carrying the nation. The carrier of nations is the church. So if the church is positioned well, if the church is actually on a higher dimension, on a higher platform, being a voice, I'm telling you, there is blessing in our country. There is blessing in any country, not even Kenya alone. Mm -hmm. If you see nations and power embrace the church, I am telling you, you see wonders. Things are flowing well what is the responsibility of the church you know now that we, you're saying this is what god has in store for us yes. this is the future god has in store for us yes what is our responsibility <clears throat> at this stage <coughs> sorry the responsibility right now for us as a church and i really want to thank god for them you know for you know for you know for that question our responsibility now is a church and i want our v our, our viewers to you know to you know to get it clear yeah our position now as a church is to lead 
you know, to, to, you know, to show direction, to show leadership, and also hear from the Lord. Mm. Because uh, if the church misses the voice, mm. then that means we are not going anywhere. So, but if we hear the voice of the Lord, if we hear you know, his voice and also understand the mind of God, knowing the heart of God, that we shall be able to give the right direction for our country. Now, as we are talking now, the church should be up to listen to the voice of the Lord in clarity. Okay. And also, you know, are engaging with the leadership of our country because you cannot sit down the man of God and mm. you say, you know, I'm hearing God, I'm hearing God, mm. I'm hearing mm. God. Mm. We are hearing the voice of God. Mm. We get instructions. And now from there, you know, that, that, you, that, that's what, for, for example, you know, you know uh, we, when you see um, uh, Samuel, Samuel was somewhere in, you know, uh, you know, you know, listening to God, listening to him. And the Bible says in, 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 in 1 Samuel chapter 16, the Bible says, and the Lord spoke to Samuel, Akamnenea Samuel, Akamambia go, and Alipoenda Malipale, Akenda. You know, you, know, you know, I really thank God because of this story. You know, Samuel, Alikoe in that condition, Yaku, mourning, Akiomboleza. Mm. Yeah. But God said, Yakwamba, for how long are you going to mourn? Rise up. Now, when they now, when now, right now, as you're talking, man of God, the church, we are hearing the voice of God. Mm. We are hearing the voice of God so that we may do the will of God okay. concerning our country and i'm telling you uh as as we are talking now nationwide the church is awake can i say praise you man of god yes i was in mandera mm. and i found a fellowship mm. i found men of god who are there and they were praying and they were praying for our country and i remember one of the pastor in mandera he went to one of his, you know, uh, area leaders there. And he went there to share what the Lord was saying about him mm. and also concerning their county. And I'm so glad because of this leader. Even though this leader is from different religious denomination, back, denomination actually mm. background, mm. he was able to listen to this servant of God. Okay. And it was a lesson to me mm. that now God has positioned the church and he has given us a responsibility to, to give direction to our leaders. That's why when they are coming to church, this is a season they are coming to church as a man of God, as a pastor, as you are preaching the word of God, show the way. Okay. Yes. I, I really like what you said. Yes. That... Um, God is giving the church a platform to provide leadership, yes. even to even to uh, the leaders in the nation and yes. the leaders at yes. county level. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. Um, you have said that even it does not matter whether they are from the same religious denomination yes. as yes. you are from. Yes, God is giving us a platform. To it's it's about well. the mind of God. Yes, that's the mind of God for yes. this season. Yes, yes, yes. So how do we cultivate this now? Now that we can see pockets, we can see signs of it happening. We can see a bit of it. You in Eldred, we can see yes. what's happening in Mandera and yes. different places. Yes. How do we grow this? How do we take this to the next level? Yes. How yes. How, how how can we grow it and nurture it? Yeah, wonderful yes. man of God. Yes. Uh, I, I think uh, the only way to nurture mm. one is uh, uh, as a church, mm. <laughs> as, as leaders in the church, when we should have, you know, a relationship with God. Okay. We should go to another dimension mm. because I'm, I'm telling you, it's about the hand of God. Mm. It is about God. It's mm. not about anything mm. because without God, we can't do anything. That's number one. Number two, a part of having a connection, 
a relationship with God. We follow his mind. Mm -hmm. We follow his principles because God gives instructions having in mind about a future of a generation, mm. a future of a community, a future of a country. Because um, when God speaks, you know, you know when he speaks and you obey. Actually, even the Bible says in, in, in Isaiah 119, you see, mm. it, it, it says that, that if you're willing and obedient, and obedient mm. you shall eat the, the good of the land. Of the land. Yeah. So that means if we are going to be willing to walk in obedience, because another way of cultivating this is by walking in obedience. Mm. Now, how you know obedience by accepting different graces? Mm. Because there's a way, man of God, God has graced you. Yeah. I cannot be in a position to hear you. And maybe there's a way that God also has given me grace. Mm. And uh, we are here to complement each other. Yeah. So obeying God and also acknowledging different graces mm. that God has given us. Mm. Then thirdly, by reaching out. Because we have to convey this message to our people. Yes. Because you cannot sit down there, man of God, in your mm. church without you know, reaching out. Mm. I cannot be in my office or in my church, mm. you know, telling God now we are united. Now, God, you have spoken ABCD. We must have you know, a proper way yes. to reach out to God's people. Mm. And as we are reaching out, as we are bonding with the people, having a relationship with God, then what God has started, mm. finally God will accomplish. Mm. Yes. I like the whole dynamic of... Um, acknowledging the graces that yes. people carry yes because i think sometimes we're so used to we, we exalt certain grace about yes. others you yes. know, and we're so used to a certain type of grace yes we've not made room for other graces yes but in this season it is so important to yes. understand that yes. Um, yes 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 different people carry a component yes, of god exactly and, and carry something about god yes that i may need for yes. yes yes it's true what else do you see about this season as as you know what else you see about god doing yes in this season okay one um what god is doing uh, in this great season one mm. god is actually repositioning mm. our nation kenya mm. to be the limelight not only in spiritual matters mm. but also in terms of investment in terms of you know expanding our economy in this continent of africa and I'm telling you, Kenya, imekuwa a giant. Imekakwa pango kwa muda. But now this is a season, a great season, that God is saying, hey, Kenya, come out. Come out of that cave that you have been in for those years. And what God will do, God is going to bless our country so much that even in this continent of Africa, when you talk about Kenya, I'm very sorry, I'm so passionate about my country. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, that's right, yeah. Yeah, so um, we shall be so blessed. Mm. And actually, the, this great blessings which are coming, it's because God wants to bless the church because if the country is blessed the church is blessed that's true so god wants to uh you know you know to take this country to another dimension and what i'm seeing coming man of god i'm seeing you know uh, a dimension that is coming where this country will be one of the top countries in africa and already Actually, mm -hmm. in fact, as we are talking now, yes. if you go to rural places, mm -hmm. and I really want to, 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 you know, to commend and to congratulate mm -hmm. our president mm -hmm. and the government, mm -hmm. the entire government, mm -hmm. yeah. you go to places something called electricity. Mm -hmm. If you go there right now, electricity is there. And now, because of the power lines which are found there, because of the power, 
even the churches in those regions. Ile kanisa nilipata Turkana without peer system. Mm. Right now, the peer system is there. Okay. I asked the pastor why he said, system ile kuja. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you see what is happening. Yes. You, you, so um, God is lifting this country to another dimension. And something else that I'm seeing also, not only God blessing this country, but also God blessing the church. Where as a church, we shall be in a position to, you know, to be a blessing, to be a blessing even to, you know, to, you know, to, to, you know, to, you know, to many countries. Uh, I, I remember I had gone to preach in West Africa. Okay, I cannot mention maybe, yes, the, that's you, know, you know, the name of that ministry. Yeah. But I'm telling you, it was so surprising that a church can partner, you know, with, with, with the government to finance the budget of that country or to support, the, you know, supporting, you know, you, know, you, 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 can, you can just imagine yes. those billions or those trillions, mm, you mm, see. Mm. So, and, 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 and I came to realize it's because the country is so blessed, so the church is blessed, mm. and the church also is able to be support, you know, to support mm. or to stand with other countries which are needy and it's it's wonderful man of god mm. so kenya we are going there wow wow, yes. wow. wow. excellent yes excellent so uh, you know one again as you're talking i'm thinking about uh, how many times we look at the political sphere and we look at what's happening and, and the animosity you yes. know this 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 camp is fighting against this camp yes. and we begin to think hey we've not made any progress yes, yes, but yes. just listening to what you're saying it means that we've actually made quite some progress yes is true. maybe we don't appreciate it or maybe yes, we stay yes, in nairobi yeah, exactly. Those of us stay in nairobi you know? <laughs> 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 so yes, 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 yes so we don't yes. appreciate the progress yes, that has yes, been made yes yes, yes, yes. yes. but we, we just want to thank god for that yes. yeah and we just want to bless the lord for yes. what he's doing in yeah, this nation yes so the our our responsibility then is to come to a place of unity, to yes, learn to true. recognize the different graces, yes, true. Um, to learn to partner together and to yes, work together yes, 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 and yes. to learn to, again, to learn to not just be hearers, yes. but also to be doers. You know, you know, man of God, even, let me tell you something, you know also, the way there are different graces mm. in the body of Christ. Also, communities, God has given us, you know, we the Kalenjins, mm. God has given us grace mm. to run. To run. Yes. <laughs> yes. And I'm telling you, that's the grace that God has given us. Yeah. God has given us grace, maybe to, you know, you know, you know to farm. Yes. But I'm telling you, mm. uh, the Mount Kenya house, mm. also they've been given grace. Wakijakwetu. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yes, yes. You see, mm. you go to you 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 go to you go to uh, you go to uh, you know you know to Nyanza region. Yeah. God has given them graces, or to Western. If you come to my place, mm. you can never miss. You know, uh, to find a teacher. Mm. You know, from those regions. Yes. Because they are, you know, you know, those are graces. Those are graces, yeah. So God has given us all these graces for a purpose, to build a successful society. You know, um, to empower each other. And that is why the church now is up. And we are praying for this country. Mm. It is not about the community that you're coming from. But it is about the Sarahs in Okonazo. Mm. What do you have? Mm. It is not about, you know, you know, um, your community. It's about Kenya. Mm. And, 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 and I really thank God because as, uh, as you're talking now, you come, for example, to mm. And if you come to Wasingishu, there you find you know, you know, you know, an Asian is a member of parliament. Wow. Mm. We have right now different people aspiring for different positions. Mm. And there's no problem. Mm. We are not going to give opportunity the devil 
You are a prophet, and I'm a prophet. You are a servant of God, you are a servant of God, and even our viewers, mm. you are servants of God. And God has given us a responsibility to speak well for our country. Kwa sababu kila ambacho shetani anaongojia ni kwa sababu ah Kenya itakwisha August. Hakuna Kenya itaisha my friend. God is blessing this country. Excellent. God is blessing the church. And we are prophesying. And God will do it for us for the sake of our children. Excellent. In Jesus name. Excellent. Amen. Apostle we need to wind up. Oh wow. So maybe you can just uh, look into the camera and yes. uh, just pray for your for the audience who's watching today yes, and just yes. bless them and thank speak into them in this season. Well, thank you so much our dear viewers. Um as you have heard what God is doing for this country and blessing the church, I want to decree a blessing over your life. I want to decree a blessing over your family. You're watching us right now in Jesus' name and you're trusting God for a miracle. You're trusting God for peace in your country. I mean, in, in, your, in, your, um, in, in, your, in your family. We are releasing the blessings of God through this media house and we are declaring that may the Lord take you to another dimension. May the Lord bless your businesses. May the Lord bless your children. And we are declaring, may the Lord keep you. May you experience, you experience his glory. May you see the hand of God in whatever that you are doing in Jesus' mighty name. And we are declaring, as we have shared with the man of God, uh, uh, many things concerning our country, about the church. May you be a partaker. May you partake in every good blessing that is coming for our country, that is coming for the church in Jesus' mighty name. I release the blessings of the Lord and the grace of God. You are there, you are watching me right now, you are not feeling well, but trust God for healing. I release a word of healing over your situation in Jesus' mighty name. You are trusting God for a major breakthrough in your finances, a major breakthrough in your career. I release the blessing of God in Jesus' mighty name. And may the Lord bless you so much in Jesus' mighty name. And my names are Koske Machichim from Washington County, Eldoret. May God bless you so much. Karibu. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Apostle. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a wrap. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, remember that we need to engage with what God is doing. God is doing marvelous things. God is doing amazing things. God is doing astounding things in this nation. I know that when you look at the political front, it may not look like that. Um, but we are not moved by what we see. We are not moved by what we hear. We are moved by what is happening or what God is saying about this nation and what is happening in the spiritual realm. So let's engage. Let's um, honor the graces, the people that God has put around us, the different graces that God has put around us. Yes. Um, let's speak well of our country. Let's speak well of our situations. And let's continue to fix our eyes on him that God will bring us to the place that he has ordained for us. Mm -hmm. The Lord bless you and keep you. Until next week, shalom. Shalom. Thank you. Thank you, sir.